If you would like even more art and content from me, like bonus videos and coloring pages, I'm on Patreon. It is a good way to support me and this channel. You can also get my art as prints, t-shirts, stickers, mugs and so on over at my Redbubble store. Links will be in the description box below. I truly appreciate the support, so thank you! Hi everyone, I got one of these square tiny little pizza boxes containing delicious art supplies. So yeah, let's just get straight into the unboxing, I suppose. Oh, we got some fancy tiger stripes. And this is apparently April's box, so I'm not that far behind. Got a little eraser that escaped and the sharpener. My qualified guess would be that there would be some kind of pencils inside here. Let's just bring it all out here. Also, I want to say thank you to Scrawlerbox that keeps sending me these boxes. There is a link in the description box below if you would like to check them out yourself and also support this channel at the same time. Got the scrawler scene with this lovely pattern. I just realized it is the year of the tiger, so I guess that's the theme here. Look at this. That's a really interesting texture. I first thought it was markers because it looks so smooth, but yeah, it must be some sort of color pencils. And this lovely artwork is made by Cecilia from Mexico City. And here's where you can find their art. Holding it like this, it kind of looks like the scene is the body of the tiger. And we got some toned drawing paper, 10 sheets. Very nice, warm, natural tone. Oh, I thought it was another color, but it was just the backboard. Again, we got the pencil sharpener, and this is actually a really good sharpener. I think I have one of these, or maybe two or three, but it is really good. It might be simple, but sometimes that is better. We got the eraser and the candy. <gasps> I love the sticker. Oh, and this is a new one for me. It is a Unipin brush pen. It is one of my favorites, but this one apparently got an extra fine brush. <gasps> oh, look at that. It seems like this is a real bristle tip, while the other Unipin brush pen got more like one of these plastic brush tips, you know, like this one, regular brush and the extra fine brush. This is actually my first time seeing this, so I'm very excited to try it out. Then lastly we got six fine art pencils. All right, so we got six color pencils from Derwent, the Derwent Chroma Flow. We got some very earthy tones, some greens, black, white, brown, and like a sand color. I'm very excited to try them out because looking at the featured artwork, they look so, so smooth. Oh, actually, you can turn the paper around and get like a cooler tone. Well, let's try it on the warmer side. I was sure that these would be like pastel pencils, like dry pastel, a little dry and chalky, you know. But these, these are more like regular color pencils. Let's see here. Oh, they are actually wax-based, like the Prismacolor pencils. The white shows up really, really well on this paper. And we got the black one. One of the things that makes it a little tough for me using color pencils is that you have to press really hard to make the color more solid and even. I feel like I have to press quite a bit to get them this vibrant. That is gonna wear out my hand pretty quickly, I feel like. But also with color pencils, you aren't really supposed to press that hard. You're supposed to build up the layers. So if I'm trying to not press that hard, like I'm doing right now, I'm trying to go over the same area many times instead. Then I will actually get a very solid color. Let's see how they are to blend. Yeah, I think they blend great. Also, let's try out the brush pen. I actually kind of like it since the paper is a little textured and this is a real bristle tip. It creates a very nice texture, but I can also get solid lines if I want to, if I make slower strokes. 
I wonder though how it will work on top of the pencil. It does actually draw on top of the pencil. Just takes a little time for it to dry though. It is great that they sent us a brush tip fine liner because when drawing with a regular fine liner on top of the pencils it might uh, clog it while in a brush tip marker the ink can still flow out to the bristle even if there would be some color pencil pigment stuck to it oh also is there something special with the eraser it is apparently perfect for lifting up the pigments without damaging the paper underneath which i think should be a quality for all erasers but sounds good wow that is a lot of eraser dust looks like some sort of moss almost well it does erase okay i suppose yeah there we have the art supplies let's see the theme the scrawler challenge is walk on the wild side i feel like i definitely have to draw a tiger it is the year of the tiger and i haven't drawn any tigers this year so i think and that would be fun maybe do something more cartoony since i got the brush pen i can do like an outline or maybe something else we will see we will see what i will come up with but yeah let's let's dive into the art so I think I mentioned that I want to make something more cartoony for this one. The brush pen just gave me cartoony vibes, bright colors and thick outlines. However, I will try out some realism too later in the video, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, so I started by sketching some small cute tigers and I think I created one of the cutest little creatures that I've ever made. I mean, just look at that little face. So adorable. I also thought it would be cute to draw the characters in sweatshirts like big bulky hoodies. I wanted to give my little tiger a friend and it just happens to be that these colors are perfect fox colors too. So yeah, just two little buddies hanging out in their hoodies. So I transferred the sketch to the paper using a purple colorized pencil. I just thought that the purple would contrast to the gold and the green colors so that I would be able to see the sketch when coloring. Also, this is one of those drawings where I kind of love the sketch more than the finished piece, but I don't really mind too much. I haven't drawn with color pencils in this way for a long time, so it was a good practice, like a warm-up kind of, but I still really like the outcome, but yeah, I kind of like the sketch better. When adding the color pencils, I started very lightly. I didn't push too hard straight away. And I started with the white. And doesn't it look so good with a white on toned paper? And I first thought that I would have to bring in some extra pink for some of the details. But something that I noticed while coloring is that the different colors becomes very different when adding white to them. I thought that the darker brown pencil was, well, brown, a reddish brown. But when adding white to it, it turns pink. So it worked very well to color in the nose and the paw of the tiger weed and the fox's tongue so that was a bit of a surprise and the sand color turns into a vibrant yellow so you can get a wider range of tones when mixing the colors which I quite like. The tiger definitely had a more bear-like vibe, but when adding the stripes to it, it became a tiger. I think they both turned out so cute. Also, let me know, are you more of a cartoony styled type of artist, or are you leaning more towards realism? I feel like I'm a bit of both. I love both a more simple stylized style, but I also love doing realistic portraits every once in a while, especially animal portraits. I love drawing animals. 
I tried to add a bit of nature or jungle theme by drawing some leaves on the tiger's hoodie. I don't know how well it reads as leaves though. I wasn't too thrilled about how the sweatshirts turned out, honestly. I really liked them in the sketch, but I don't know. Again, I haven't used color pencils in a while, so I might be a little rusty. And also, I kind of tend to get a little impatient when coloring with color pencils. It just takes so much time and that is all fine but since I wasn't feeling the drawing 100% I just wanted it to be done so I might have rushed it just a little at the end but overall I think it turned out pretty cute I like it I see it as a good warm-up piece I liked it a lot better though when adding the line work I think the brush pen really tied it together I loved this brush pen since it is very thin I could get these wispy sketchy fine strokes but I could also get very bold thick lines and that is why I love brush pens the versatility So my initial plan was to make another drawing with a cute character in clothes, but there was something inside of me that was just begging for drawing a more realistic piece. If you've been here for a while, you might know that I have drawn a few tigers before. I just really enjoy the shape and the stripes and the contrast between the golden fur and the black and white. So when the opportunity is given to me, I can't resist. Again, I start with a white and I feel like I could just have left it like this with a purple sketch and a white fur. The contrasts are so good. I actually really, really like these color pencils. They reminded me a lot of the Prismacolors that are also wax based, but these are a little drier, not as creamy. So kind of like a mix between the Prismacolors and the Polychromos, which are oil based and a little harder, a little drier. Polychromos are my favorites. I really like them because they are very easy to control. But when making pure color pencil portraits, I always tend to use Prismacolors, mainly because they're creamy consistency and rich colors. You can blend them really well and you don't have to press as hard to get a vibrant color, so you don't have to layer them as much. And I really like drawing fur with them. The only problem is that I don't like working with Prismacolor pencils. I just hate how fragile they are. When sharpening them, they break and then I have to sharpen it again and it breaks again and again and again. And it is such a waste of art material and it makes me so frustrated. And no, I have not dropped any of the pencils, which may have caused the lead inside to break. And yes, I am sharpening them oh so carefully. In all the ways that I've heard that you should sharpen a color pencil. These pencils, however, the Chroma Flow, I sharpened them several times without the lead breaking. And even if the Chroma Flows are quite soft, they hold their point really well. Prisma colors are even softer, which makes the nib go dull pretty quickly, so you have to sharpen it again, and then we're just back on the frustration roller coaster. So in conclusion, I really enjoyed working with these color pencils. I didn't realize that this was turning into a color pencil review, but here we are. They are soft enough to make them easy to blend and gives a nice, vibrant, smooth application, but they are still firm enough to be easy to control. And what I realized halfway through this piece is that I have had these Derwent Chroma Flow pencils saved on my Amazon 
to buy later list for a few years now or something. I saw them on Instagram, I think, but then they weren't available to buy, but now they are, so I think I will actually get myself a bigger set, just so I don't have to deal with the Prismacolor so much. Not saying that Prismacolors are bad or anything, because they're not, they are just not for me, but yeah, I'm really happy I got to try out these color pencils. So back to the tiger here, you could say that my realistic style is more semi-realism, it has a few cartoony features, or maybe not cartoony, but a bit stylized. I like doing hatching and keeping some of the outlines around it and doing a bit of a boxy shape. I like having a lot of different textures and lines visible. This is definitely one of my favorite tigers that I've ever made. Made. Might be the toned paper that makes it pop a little extra, but I'm just overall happy with it and I just want to make more animal portraits now. I really enjoyed it. So here we have them, the cartoony and the more realistic. I had so much fun making both of them. It was great working with color pencils again. It is always nice rediscovering an art medium. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please leave a like and a comment and maybe subscribe. It really helps me out. It's much appreciated. Thanks Crawlerbox for this box and thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Keep drawing my happy cats. Bye!